Alrighty now, it's time for evolution. We're welcome to do going off family. So now we're going to be doing a anti view tutorial. And what an anti view tutorial is, is basically basically you're an ant looking above at a person or some kind of building or an object or so you're an ant looking at from above this could, this could also be worm's eye view or so it's the same thing it's just it's just you're looking at it from a bug bug level okay and so when you when you think about that uh when you're when you're looking at it from a bug level you're going to see the the bottom portion of the cylinder okay so again also as a prerequisite, uh, check out the understanding basic cylinders shape in my last video, so you can understand, you know, exactly what what full circles are, what natural cylinders are, what unnatural cylinders are. You know, this is just something that I use personally, personally, to understand these things. So I, I'd recommend you, you check you check those out because I I feel it will be very helpful to you. You know, and so. This is what we're going to be doing. And so right here, again, since we're looking at a bug's eye view, bug's eye view, right? We're going to be looking at the bottom portion of the cylinder. And you know, as a cylinder, and as a, as we look up, as we gradually look up, the uh, um, the cylinder is gonna constantly be on a, uh, it's gonna constantly uh, trans transition into a, a, a into a full circle depending on what level it is on. So right here, this, here's the straight line. This is the ground plane, and if you're looking at it from a bug's eye view, you know it's going to be a gradual change in the cylinder dynamic. Okay, so it's going to be a gradual change in the cylinder intensity. Okay, and and, and it's going to change into a full circle at at the end. And this full circle is where the head is. And so, for example, this is would be where the legs are. This would be where the uh, the middle portion is the torso portion or so is and this would be where the head is this is where the full circle would be and this doesn't look like a full circle it almost looks like it but you know a full circle is like you know kind of a perfect circle it doesn't look like an eclipse all right and so you know keep that in mind that as as you're gradually looking up it's going to be a gradual change until you become until it becomes a full circle which is where at where the head is at Okay, so keep that in mind. We're going to be using cylinders to construct the, the arms and the legs, all right? And so, right here, this is the, uh, this is what I'm talking about, like the intensity level right here. So, so as it, as you're, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, as you, as you grow up, as you grow up, the intensity level is going to keep increasing and increasing, okay? Until you see the, that full circle. So right now the the intensity level is right here, is is at a low, and it, and as you go up, the intensity of that circle of the arc is gonna like increase. Okay, bottom is less less in, less intense, and more is and up is more intense. All right. So yeah, keep that in mind. And also the body, the cylinder, this cylinder may not be tampering. I'm I'm gonna sh the cylinder that we're, the the pose that we're gonna be drawing right now. I'm not gonna draw it like uh, in a foreshortening pose right now, but uh, this cylinder won't be foreshortening here. The only thing that's kind of foreshortening is like the body, but not the cylinder. So keep the cylinder looking natural. I'm going to show you a more dynamic, a more dynamic example of that uh, of that cylinder, um, of the cylinder doing foreshortening, and we're looking at it from a bug's eye view. So right now we're just gonna do it the normal way, okay? So yeah, so keep that in mind that the cylinder will be looking like this, all right? And however, the only foreshortening that will be happening is with the human body, if this is making sense to you. So yeah, we'll get into that.
Alrighty now. So I have it completed. Now this it's not gonna be any like anatomical things at all. It's gonna be cylinders. So you wanna understand the cyl cylinders, the fundamentals before you get into the, the, nitty the nitty gritty. I did a cylinder basic tutorial previously, so yeah, you could go check that out if you haven't. Um so yeah, as the cylinder as we look up at the cylinder, as we look below the cylinder, as the cylinder increases, as the cylinder intensity increases, we start to see the full circle. Okay, it starts to it starts off as a, a tiny little eclipse, and it gradually becomes a full circle. This doesn't look like a full circle off the top, I know, but I pretend it is a full circle. Okay, a perfect circle. Okay, and not an eclipse. All right, and so right here again, it tapers. So this is what I have. This is what I have right now. So we have the full circle right here, and you see, start to see the the eclipse. It's like gradually, it's gradually evolving. Okay, for the cylinders, that is, it's gradually evolving and it's tapering at the same time. Like it's it's going like this in terms of you know for shortening, and then you can see the full circle, which is located right here. Okay, and then right here is the ground plane. All right, so this is the ground plane. This is where the feet is at. So this is like where you you would look up at this at this particular person, all right. And so, um, the what the greens what the greens represent actually are the the things that you're looking up at. Okay, so you're not going to see the full eclipse when you're looking at uh, this, all right. You're going to see an eclipse right here, all right. So you're going to see like a tiny little portion of the of the eclipse right here. But again, you won't you won't like really see it because it's being blocked off by the foot. But you know, imagine that you're seeing that that eclipse, and rem remember that it, it's gradually going into that full circle. All right, for the for shortening. Okay, and remember it's also tapering. So once you have this fundamental down, you can draw you can draw any character with with this. So yeah. And now I'm going to show you the next one. Alrighty now, so up for uh, the part, the second part, and so now we're gonna to be doing a more dynamic view of the cylinder. Okay, so this is gonna be where the the cylinder actually you start to see the foreshortening and the, and the shrinkage, you know, and yeah, you start to see the foreshortening and the shrinkage, and this is more of a extreme anti view. Okay, so you're gonna see the full circle, and when you see that full circle, that's when you start to actually. You know dive into that for shortening type of thing all right you start to you know shrink you know what what's going away from us starts to starts to shrink a little so yeah we're gonna do that and remember we're going to be drawing the full circle okay so we won't be drawing like an eclipse or anything we're going to be drawing it fully so we're not gonna like half ass it we're gonna full ass it all right so let's do that And so, this is the more extreme foreshortening, foreshortening one. And so remember that the bottom portion is going to show the full circle or the the full rectangle. Okay, you want to like completely show everything that's on the bottom plane when you're doing, you know, the dynamic something dynamic like this. You know, uh, this this top part right here. We can see that the arm is going going up, so we see the, the full circle right here. And then there's that green, you know, which indicates that top portion of the of the top of the uh, the top arm where the well, the deltoid muscle is, or so. And you know, just all all this, okay. And also, there, there's going to be since you're look since you're we're looking at the full circle of these cylinders or the full rectangle. Remember that there's always going to be an overlap. Okay, there's always going to be a, a layer overlap when you're when you're looking at a full full version of something. Okay, so this pelvis right here is overlapping the torso. Okay, if you can see that. All right. So remember, just re just remember to you know just 
look at your full circle and also right here uh this is an another example you know so this is the these two of the pelvis okay this is a pelvis right here just ignore these two for like okay like these are the two uh pelvis right here and right here i'm i'm barely showing the bottom plane if you can see that i'm barely showing that bottom plane here you know but that's because i was going for something else i was going for that plain plain perspective that i showed in the first in the first uh, in the first portion of this video now right here this this is the more dynamic i'm showing i'm showing everything i'm showing the full bottom plane this is half-assing it and this is full assing it all right so you want to show everything and something else to keep in mind as well uh, this is also going since since this is uh since you're foreshortening it the body as well is going to taper like like kind of like how, how this is tapering all right and, and although we didn't like really for foreshorten the cylinders that much we're still tapering the body all right but however we're taper we're foreshortening the cylinders and we're tapering the body all right and it, it, it's going to be a lot more extreme so so right now there's like kind of like two vanishing points here one on top and one over here right run right here and you know you want to like kind of like kind of match these lines you know imagine it sort of say from that perspective you know and so that's something extra to keep to keep to keep in mind and also here's another here's another example of half-assing it and full-assing it and so if we were doing a uh, so this version the, sim the simple version right here this right here this would be according this would go according to this okay this uh, eclipse like cylinder we're not seeing everything okay and the cylinder isn't really uh, foreshortening or, or anything like that we are seeing the bottom perspective of that of that cylinder though which looks like an eclipse however when we turn it when we, tr when we turn it or push it we start to see the full circle right here and when we see that full circle right everything is a lot more you know intensified right so right here like for example this the uh the pex right here and the uh the x the x process or the, you know the sternum the sternum thing uh, yeah the x process is right here and you can see how I'm like uh, showing the, the full. I'm ex I'm I'm showing the full circle right here. Okay, no, and the green represents that full circle, right? And I'm not I'm not going over at the back because you can, you know, I, I don't, you don't you don't you don't need to get confused from that. But you know, you want to you want to think of these as like three dimensional shapes. Okay, so that full circle is right here, and then you see that the uh, the half the half at circle. Or so right here if, if this is making sense to you all right so apply this to everything that you're doing and you'll be good for your your inside your inside view and yeah that'll be the video thank you guys for watching if this video has helped you at all leave a comment down below uh also i'd also like some tips and advice on how to improve my teachings as well and you know also i'm also you know improving as well i'm also you know studying still still improving still learning so this can be a, a great learning experience for me to you know also teach and at the same time uh learn learn what i uh uh what else uh refine what i've learned through teaching is what i mean to say so yeah that will be the video thank you guys for watching Peace.